We don't yet have any detailed information about what exactly the deal between Ukraine and Russia over these fighters from Azovstal has been. Clearly, there has been a deal because they have been transferred alive to a Russian-controlled part of Ukraine, part of the southeastern Donbass region that has been under Russian control since 2014. The most wounded among them have been taken to a hospital in Novoazovsk, and uh, the rest of them have been taken to a village called Olenivka, which is just to the southwest of Donetsk, the capital of Donetsk region. Now, we also don't know how many are still there in Azovstal. The Ukrainian government a few days ago was talking about around 1,000 Ukrainian fighters still there, though they themselves always declined to publicly give their exact numbers. It seems, though, according to what the Ukrainian Defence Ministry has been saying, that the plan is for there to be some kind of exchange. One presumes that this might be a prisoner exchange involving Russian prisoners of war who were held in Ukraine, but there is speculation that it might involve not actually a prisoner of war, but Viktor Medvedchuk, the Ukrainian oligarch and pro-Russian politician who is currently in detention, accused of treason in Ukraine and who had expressly publicly called for himself to be exchanged against these uh, prisoners, sorry, these uh, Ukrainian soldiers who are now in Russian uh, custody from Mariupol. I'm actually in Chernigov in northern Ukraine right now, right near a house that was destroyed when a Russian plane was shot down by Ukrainian forces. And I asked the owner of the house whether or not she would feel happy if the pilot of this plane, who parachuted out and is still alive in Ukrainian custody, was exchanged against one or more of the fighters from Mariupol. And she said absolutely categorically no. She wanted to see this pilot brought to justice and she would be disappointed if he was released in exchange for a Ukrainian prisoner of war.